Hello everyone, today I am going to look at uh, what I consider some of the coolest pens you can get, and that is pocket pens, specifically Japanese pocket pens, modern and, and vintage. Um, so somebody told me that uh, when they first started making pocket pens, it was because of the style of men's shirts in Japan, uh, they had small, short little pockets. That was just the fashion. And rather than putting a full-size pen in, which would look ridiculous, they, they came up with pens uh, <laughs> that are shorter in length and are therefore called pocket pens. Is this true? I don't know. But it's a good story, and it actually makes sense to me. So um, what I have here are uh, four little pens. Um, one is modern, and the other ones are of various vintages, and one of them is a Franken pen, which is kind of interesting, um, because there's the interesting thing about them are, are the similarities in proportions, measurements, weights. Uh, it's it's quite striking uh, how uh, almost exact copies. <laughs> <laughs> these pens are in many ways um down to the almost like the the weights and the and the lengths and the size of the barrel and the clips everything is very inspired <laughs> by a, an overall design um now i have let's see i have a platinum a couple pilots and a sailor here uh, actually i only have really one pilot plus a partial it's it, it's a plat it's a franken pen i'll show you in a minute here but uh this here is the modern uh equivalent of the uh well classic pocket pen design and this is the pilot e95s this is a beautiful little pen uh it's, uh, it's also if you're looking if you're into fountain pens and you haven't actually made the step up to say uh, uh, a gold nib and you're looking for a modern fountain pen with a gold nib this is probably your best option right here uh, I'm not too sure what the prices are now they probably range 150 to you know, 175 uh, depending on where you are and uh, so it, this has a 14 karat gold nib and it has this beautiful nib right and when you pull it has a when you look at the body it's very short but when you post it it turns into a full-sized pen and it's a it's just a graceful design that's the easiest way to put it it's very short little body here this has a converter in it uh pilot con 40 converter i believe and it just uh it's a push cap and it just slides on and it it's a very there's not like a say a clutch ring as such to grab it the 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 barrel is so finely uh, machined and measured that it just friction fits onto the section of the pen and that's true of all these other pens now this is a vintage pen of <laughs> dubious <laughs> nature because um it has the platinum uh cap but it's a pilot body and it's interesting that the well, to me that the platinum cap fits perfectly onto this pilot body um and it and it does it's not loose it's it you pick it up after a few days and it's still right so it has a perfectly nice uh, airtight seal and uh yeah it uh it just works <laughs> um plastic body on the pen this platinum uh fountain pen had a metal cap and uh gold band here of course gold plated um you do see a lot of dings on these the, these platinum uh metal caps uh i've noticed when i've looked on ebay and things like that quite often if you look at looking at photos you'll see little nicks and this had little nicks on it and what i did was i took a little uh, etching tool i had and i just made a starburst pattern i just made use of those little flaws and i made a personalized it it was damaged i think i did a good job it, it's just fun it makes it look better yeah uh, and uh 
those were uh, each of those little stars are where the nicks were. So there were quite a few nicks. The next one I have is a sailor. Um, it's a vintage pen. I'm not too sure what date this pen is. Uh, I've been looking online for information, but there are so many different variations, so many colors. Uh, when I say variations, you know, you'll get different uh, finishes on the cap. You'll get di different bodies, uh, colors, and things like that. And some of them have the logo in different areas, or this has a sort of a painted uh, stripe that goes around it. And it just says sailor right here. Um, and sometimes you'll see different logos and different embellishments on the pens. Uh, I'm sure that I, if I do some deep research, I can probably find out what this pen is, but, uh, I haven't really delved into it too far. It has a, um, I'm just going to quickly look at my notes. It has a, um, 14 karat gold nib. And on the nib, looking at it, on the right-hand side, right down here, it says Sailor. And on this side over here, you can't really see it, but it's there's a two, uh, with like little, uh, just marked right here on the side, a number two. And I'm wondering if that refers to the nib size. And I'm wondering, say, if number two uh, might be fine. It feels like a fine. Um, when I write with it. So I'm wondering if number one would be an extra fine, number two fine, number three a medium. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. It's all, that's one of the great ways of finding out information. I'm not an expert, but I learn every time I do a video, somebody somebody has more information than I do and they comment and, I, and, I, and I'm always appreciative of that information. Uh, and this here is a metal cap, plastic body, 14 karat gold nib and just uh, right now actually what is in there is a cartridge a, a converter the converter I had wouldn't fit in there so I'm pretty sure this one some of these take converters this takes a converter uh, also cartridge the sailor doesn't seem to take a cart uh, converter but I have have cartridges and that's that's perfectly fine and when the cartridge runs out you can clean it up or put and put new ink in it uh, which is kind of nice too. Um, the Platinum actually has a uh, converter in it, actually. A converter fits in that one. The next one I have here is another little Platinum uh, fountain uh, pocket pen. Vintage. Uh, this would be probably one of the lower end ones, I would say. It has a, a steel... Uh, steel nib with gold plating on it. The gold plating has rubbed off. Uh, these here are all gold nibs, 14 karat, I believe, in in all of these. And and as you look online and you're looking at different pens, uh, especially with say the Sailor, you'll see them going like with steel nibs. They'll have 14 karat, you know, 18 and 21 karat. And then there are, there's different writing styles. There's script nibs. There's uh, uh, you know, manifold nibs, there's all kinds of variations in them. So if you're interested in these pens and you get into it, there's, a, there's an awful lot to collect. And there's an awful lot to learn, which is one of the, the fun things about them. Um, so this is also a pull cap, um, very similar nib to the others, except uh, that this is a steel uh, nib. And also, um, you know, just because it's a steel nib, this is actually a very nice writer. It's still, in many ways, just as fine a writer as the other pens, even with the gold. So, um, you know, if a well-made steel nib can be quite a nice writer. Uh, not as pretty. <laughs> now, um, someone had commented on, uh, when I was unboxing this, they had commented that um, up until 1968, Platinum used to have their Globe logo here on the on the nib and after that they went with the p logo um so this is probably a nib made after 1968 uh on the um the uh bear on the cap there is the globe logo it's hard to see it there and it also says platinum um so this is made after 1968 i'm I could be wrong again. I should look that up. It's it kind of an interesting little identification uh, trick, finding out where all the logos fit into the chron chron chronog chronological uh, history of the pens. Um, so all of these are actually, when I look at the lengths, 
they're almost all with with the caps on almost all 117 millimeters um and in many ways uh the bodies have a slight variations uh like this has sort of a squared off uh end on it and whereas the pilot is more rounded of course um this one here is rounded that's a plat that's a pilot also it has the rounded and the sailor has a more rounded end too so the platinum is a bit more squared um this platinum here uh weighs 12 grams so it's a little lighter than the other other uh, uh, uh pocket pens uh for instance the sailor probably is the heaviest it actually feels heavy the cap on this feels very well made it's a it's 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 a nice piece of metal whereas this here is probably all plastic yeah that's plastic and it is the lightest it's 12 grams the pilot e95s it is 15 grams um, now these all have ink in them so you know that that also comes into 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 the uh, equation here uh this franken pen i i totally didn't uh weigh but it probably feels in, in, a little yeah the it, it feels about the same weight as say the uh e95s i forgot to weigh that um but um let's see so uh other things in to uh, the length of the bodies um uh, with the caps on capped are yeah 107 yeah pretty much all of them are 117 millimeters actually they all are uh, 100 they're all the same length uh the caps are pretty much the same um actually the caps are pretty much the same the variations of the bodies are a little different like as you look at there's a few little design differences uh just the the way the nibs are set in and things like that the and also the ca the cap ring right here that catches the pen uh the, uh, the cap some in some cases are a little different yeah but uh yeah of um all of them the uh the platinum is actually just yeah the the e ninety five s is probably the longest, but they're all very very close in length um uh, as you can see there uh, which is kind of a <laughs> which you can't see there because it's not on the screen. How long has that been going on anyway so yeah so um they're all sort of very similar in sizes and lengths, and that's always been kind of an interesting thing to me like uh you know I wonder. You know what is the licensing agreement or copyright uh, or the intellectual property <laughs> of the, the the original designer? I don't know who came out with the first uh, pocket pen, but uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments. I'm sorry about the fact that I haven't been showing everything here. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun just to look at these. Um, I actually I uh, I find myself getting quite interested in this this series of pens. I you know, it's a it, just looking online and reading about them and um you know, uh, there are a couple other Japanese uh pen manufacturers that I don't that aren't too uh famous, but they were also making variations of the pocket pen. And uh yeah. I I really like them. Anyway, um uh, if you collect pocket pens, let me know. Maybe you know more information about my, my what I have here. Let me know in the comments. Um, do you like pocket pens? They're all beautiful writers. I, I didn't do any writing samples, but that, that's okay. But anyway, uh, just a quick fun video, uh, or a fun for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you're having a nice day out there. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, why don't you subscribe? Um, I'll probably do some more in-depth uh, vid videos on each uh, of these pens. I have uh, actually done videos on these two, uh, this Franken pen and this uh, E95S, but I'll consider these other ones too, especially the Sailor. The Sailor, um, there's something about it that I quite like uh, personally. But anyway, anyway, I hope you have a nice day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.